If you think about the calling in a living word, if you think about your favorite books or poems or songs or quotes from the masters, there's something alive. There's something that comes alive in a word when there's imagery present, when there's a spirit, there's a transmission, when that word is in the, unfoldment, in the unfoldment as an instrument of the creator moving through you. Do you hear the calling in the Waymaker song? The calling for unity and peace and bringing together many languages and cultures, singing for the opening of the way. What a, what a beautiful living word that is. And as we sing together in place of worship, there's such a living word there for me of the sweet, the lifting scent, sweet, the lifting scent of worship just to come together in consciousness in one place through the power of imagery, the power from this place thy word extends. So it's good to be in this wonderful, mysterious, magical, wondrous place together. This place of the urge to love, this place of the irrepressible nature of love. So where does this living word come from? If you take a moment to notice in the immediacy of our experience, you can notice sensation moving through the body as consciousness moves through the mind, let's say. And just before sensation moves in the body and just before consciousness moves, there's a livingness. There's an aliveness that moves in the silence. And then there's this cymatic cellular response that comes from the body just prior to that movement of consciousness, during that movement of consciousness, and just after, as let's just say, when a living word is spoken, is this, this mysterious movement of sensation and consciousness and this the flow and the power of love um, brings me to this knowing that I am the cymatic source behind the livingness of the word. So let's take a moment to just reflect on what is alive behind prior to, during the transmission of each of the words that we share, where does it actually come from? And to what do you, do I, do you, do we, to what do you hold accountable your words and actions?